I'm gonna show you how to do proper area refuel. Uh, there's a scenario for practicing in the quick flight campaign. I'm gonna use the FA-26 aerial refuel practice. Uh, for configuration, you don't need anything except for the TGP can come in handy, but it's not required. And also make sure to not set your fuel to max, uh, because then you won't be able to uh, refuel. Alright, once in the air, um, first we need to get the speed of the tanker. There are three methods. Uh, the first one is you can go to the nav map and press the fuel waypoint. Uh, this will set a fuel point on the tanker if in the mission editor this has been set. It's not always the case, but sometimes. If this doesn't work, uh, you can also use the TGP, get like a headlock, or go to the radar and get a lock on the tanker. So, here we can see the distance and here you can see uh, the max speed. So the max speed is about 0 0.6, we can match it with our max speed. So we're gonna set it to about 380. So now you see the distance isn't changing from the waypoint, neither from the TGP. That means the tanker speed is 380 knots. So these are like the three methods to find it out. Um, once you have its speed, you can approach it, but like don't approach it with Mach 1 or way too over speed because you're gonna surpass it. You're gonna want to approach uh, slowly but steady, like for example zero, Mach 0 0.7 in this case. And then brake once you get closer. So we know its speed is uh, 380, so I'm gonna go to about 390. And close in a bit more, like this. Now if you want to stay on it, you can just use the speed autopilot and set to 380. So now it's gonna... we're gonna be like... in the same position relative to the attacker. Now you have to... Uh, you can practice like first staying like this with the tanker. What also I have, uh, can help you is if you go to options and set the joy sense lower so you can do more precise movement. So once you can follow the tanker steadily, you can open the fuel port. On every aircraft it's a bit different. Here's the fuel port in front of the airplane. On the AV-42 it's uh, above you. Uh, and I'm not sure about the F-45 but you will see it when you do it. So we're now gonna go, go a bit closer. Increase the speed a bit. You can also see when you do the, the automatic speed. So about this level of thrust is uh, how you hold your speed. So that means if we remove this airspeed hold, we still hold the speed because the throttle isn't changing. So this is like the the hold the speed of the setting. If we increase it, we're gonna increase our speed as well, and if you go lower uh, than the setting, we will lose speed. So we want to increase the speed a bit. And don't overdo it. Like, don't go off full off the burden and then full brake, because that won't work. Contact. Refueling. So we're gonna hold it like that, and um, Usually I go with like a bit more than the Out of range. than the holding speed, and then I just use the air brake because you can brake and still accelerate. They see now I'm going faster, so I just use brake instead of changing the throttle the whole time. Contact. We'll top it off. And then try to increase, uh, try to try to um, keep this green area. Oh shit. Try to let the green area on the end of the broomstick. There are also guidance light on the belly, as you can see. These are show you, I think, like up, down, left, and right, but honestly, I never use them. Okay, usually what I also do when uh, doing the refuel, I look at like one point. I don't move my head around or anything like that. I just stare at one point and like. You then see how the broomstick, the broomstick is the the thing with the color, 
uh, like sure what comes out how this part moves like if you have to get closer and, and stuff uh, this is how I adjust so I get like one focus point and stared it the whole time until he says uh, fueling complete or whatever so I don't know maybe this helps you and like don't look at your surroundings they don't really matter uh, while doing the refueling it's Everything when re refueling is um, relative. If the tanker moves up, you have to move up relative as well. Because like, when the tanker is climbing, you have to be climbing as well, right? So everything is uh, relative to the tanker instead of the normal environment. So keep that in mind. Alright, so once more a bit quicker summarized. So you get the speed of the tanker, which is in this case uh, 380. You close in. Get closer to its uh, back. Open the fuel port. Hold your speed and only use the air brake for adjusting. Contact. Hold that position. And then stare at the same point the whole time until the announcer says that you're done. Refuel complete. That's it. Close your viewport and you're good to go.